Today, you get to witness a car dealer smackdown. All too often, it's the consumer losing out to the car dealer, but this time the tables got turned thanks to two amazing ladies, Jackie and Kathy. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, and across the way, it's the amazing Elizabeth. Jackie and Kathy are two ladies cut from the same cloth as us. As any follower from this channel ought to know, I don't take any crap from a car dealer. What's totally amazing about Jackie and Kathy is that they were two total newbies to car shopping just a short time ago and then ended up finding us after they had a dealer pull a fast one on them. Some people in our viewing audience think that since the FTC cars rule isn't implemented yet, it's not an effective rule against unscrupulous car dealers. As you'll see, you're wrong. This story demonstrates that that idea is totally unfounded. These ladies made the unscrupulous dealer take their truck back using FTC rules and did it quite a while after the sale happened. Here's the two heroes of the day, Jackie and Kathy. Hi everyone at the Homework Guy channel. I'm Jackie. And I'm Kathy. And we just wanted to share our experience in purchasing a new Tacoma uh, Ann Arbor, Michigan at the Toyota dealership. Now, just to let you guys know, we were just like you. We had no education, um, had no understanding of uh, FTC rules, add-ons, uh, until we watched the Homework Guy channel. So going into this, we knew none of that. So we were just like you guys. We just wanted to go in and purchase a truck at a fair price. So it was in sep this past September, uh, we found the used uh, Tacoma uh, at the dealership in Ann Arbor. And so we went in and sat down um, we got the keys, test drove it, and we liked it. Um, so we sat down with the salesperson. He wrote up the numbers for us uh, so we could take a look at everything. And in the numbers towards right before the taxes, there was this lump of money that I'm like, so what is this amount of money for? And can you itemize what it is? And he said, oh, you know, it's stuff that's already added onto the vehicle, like, like low jack and some of the extended warranties. And it's something that you can't take off. It's already added. And both Jackie and I looked at each other and we told him, no, it's not something that we want. And we're not paying for it. Right. So you need to go back to your manager and let them know that this is a deal breaker, that, that we do not want these items. So probably took them um, three times back and forth. And finally, he came back and said, okay, we'll take these off. So after that, the uh, finance manager uh, went ahead and got the paperwork ready for us. And so I went in and he had his little iPad and I had to initial all the add-ons that he had talked about that we said we didn't want. I had to initial saying I didn't want them. So the next page, there was another add-on, initial, you don't want that kept going for a while. And at some point, he snuck in the low jack. Yeah, he was a slippery one. Yeah, and I, I had no idea that I had initialed that we wanted the low jack. Um, so we went ahead and we signed all the paperwork. We took the keys and we were pretty happy. We we're like, okay, we've got this used Toyota. Um, went home. Yeah, and I don't know how many weeks went by. Uh, about two weeks. About two weeks went by. I don't know. I was just saw the contract sitting on the counter, and I thought I'd just take another look at it. And as I'm looking through there, I see low jack, and there's a eight hundred and ninety-three dollars. Yeah, yeah, almost nine hundred. I add that up, and I'm like, what? We told them we did not want that. So I had Kathy come and look at it, and she said, I signed. A paper saying no charge so furious I start looking around online see what can we do and that's when we found the homework guy channel with Kevin and Liz and so as I began to search through their channel I thought oh my gosh this is car college uh, it's a library all you have to do is go on there and search for what you're looking for and it'll come up the video will come up and you just have to watch it take notes and once i found out about the ftc rules i told kathy we're going back and so i printed those off and uh um you highlighted everything i, that I highlighted all the information 
that pertain to what we were going through at that time. And so we decided we're gonna go the next day, which was Monday, to drive that vehicle all the way back there. Which it said in our driveway, and we never drove it because we were waiting on the plates and the title. So we're like, we're just not gonna drive it. So we got off of work, drove to Ann Arbor, Michigan, and we get in there and the sale, our salesman was in there. And everybody was like, oh, you guys back to buy another vehicle? We said, no. <laughs> and so you could tell they were like, they knew something was up. So the sales manager said, oh, well, let's go over and sit at my desk. So we're talking and and yeah, I, I told the salesman, I said, we specifically told you we did not want low jack. He goes, oh, well, that, that was included? And yeah, that was included. Well, let me bring the finance manager over. So the finance manager, he came over. He said, well, you signed the papers, so... And I said, hmm, no, that's illegal. His eyes kind of got a little brighter. And so he went and got the... Used car manager. Used car manager. Yeah. So the used car manager comes over and he sits down. It's like... Yeah, you know, you already signed it, so you know, there's really nothing uh, you can do. I go, oh, because I was listening to Kevin and Liz, the homework guide channel, all the way up to Ann Arbor, Michigan, the FTC rules. And I, I wanted to know the language that I was going to use. And so I remember they said, if they say it's non-negotiable, and mandatory that's illegal and i remember reading it in the ft in the ftc rules so when the manager said mm, no you, you have to uh no you have to take these is already added on the car i go, she oh. baited him i baited him i said oh so are you saying that these rules uh these add-ons are non-negotiable and mandatory and he looks at me yes and I leaned in across the desk, I said, hmm, according to the FTC, that is illegal. He said, no, it's not. I said, according to the FTC, that is illegal. No, it's not. According to the FTC, section five and section two, paragraph B, that is illegal. So he excused himself, he says, he'll be right back. He comes back and he kind of mumbles that he was on the phone with the dealership lawyer and that maybe they can go ahead and just remove those. Mm -hmm. So is there anything else we can do for you guys? And um, Oh yeah, and, and that's when I said, um, yes, uh, we paid too much money for this used Tacoma. And the only reason we knew that is because of Kelly, what, Kelly Blue Book. Yeah, uh, of what uh, the homework guy said. Um, you put in your VIN and you'll be able to see what the value is. And we did that. And we printed off copies. So we knew exactly what that truck was supposed to be. So I put those papers in front of them and I said, yeah, you need to match this price because we paid way too much money. And he pretty much said, no, we can't do that. So... We said, well, then here are your keys. And I gave him the contract that we had signed. I turned it around and said, I want you to give me my full refund back. And I don't want to see uh, some restocking fee or some other uh, BS fee on there. I want the full price and I want your initials and I want you to sign a date. He's looking at me, TC. Signs it, uh, or initials it, and, uh, and he told us, yeah, we could, uh, he'd mail a check to yeah, us. Yeah. And Jackie said, uh, no, we'll be up tomorrow to pick up the check. So that's kind of how everything played out. And I can't thank Kevin and Elizabeth enough and the Homework Guy channel um, and Jackie for doing the homework that, that these guys supplied. Uh, us with and, and by the way nice new website just wanted to point that out and to summarize we just really want to say thank you to kevin and elizabeth and the yes. homework guy channel you guys are awesome yes yes and we were able to good news we were able to buy a new tacoma um, 
from the information you know that, that you guys have on your website and, and your YouTube channel. Yeah. And here's just a few things. We, we want to encourage everybody else out there. This was this was fun actually to do because you have at the homework uh, guide channel. You can download this for free. It gives you all the information. Federal Trade Commission. Um, you've got the uh, look. You've got the Department of Justice on your side. They talk about tight selling. If you can understand that, um, you're not going to be taken advantage of. You can go in there confidently. Yeah. Here's the Clayton Act, and it was passed. Um, into law October 8th 1914 I was like 1914 where have I been uh, so you should be able to just go in and use these to purchase your vehicle they they provide you with everything you need to be able to go in there and get a good deal on a vehicle and not be pushed around by these guys free download um, here I made copies and this is what I took to the dealership in Ann Arbor. I mean, underlined, highlighted, highlighted in red. I was ready. I was ready for these guys. So we just hope that we are an encouragement to others. And again, a big thank you to Kevin and Elizabeth and the Homework Guy channel. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Thanks again. What an impressive story, huh? Didn't you love how Jackie was undeterred by their resistance and kept repeating that line? What you did was illegal. <laughs> yeah. Such intensity. And then she slaps those keys down on the desk saying, you're taking your truck back and then follows with, no, you won't mail us a check. We'll come back tomorrow to pick up a full refund. That's a classic case of taking control, something that we talk about all the time. If this sounds like a lot more guts than you can muster, and you're needing a confidence boost going into a dealer, you can get direct assistance from us by visiting our website today at thehomeworkguy.com and get signed up for our membership. Our turnaround time for members is generally very fast. And we do love working directly with our members. While you can sign up here on YouTube, we do appreciate you signing up on our website instead, thehomeworkguy.com. YouTube charges us a 30% fee for every member sign up on the platform. And what's worse is that we don't receive a notification that you're even on board with us. When you sign up at our website, that triggers an immediate email to us. By the way, the reports of great deals members are getting right now with our assistance is very inspiring. That's right. Thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. On behalf of the entire Homework Guy team and the amazing Elizabeth, I'm Kevin Hunter. Thanks for listening. You can't go!